Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Out of those four trucks that we bought, quite a lot of you would have followed the one on the transit. This is actually the last one we've got. Two of them were transits, two of them were sprinters. One of the sprinters went later that night, straight out in trade, and now both of the transits are gone. This is the one we kind of put off till last because we believed that it needed the most work. But we've had a little, we just had a quick little look round this and it's not as bad as we first thought, Chris, is it? Like this wheel arch, we thought that is gonna be a lot of work getting that straightened out and sorted out. But guys, guess what? That's actually part of the wing and it bolts on and there's no damage behind it. We got a bit of damage here in the door and a nasty scrape through this door and the wing. But again, the wing is part of that and it's all dented in anyway. The driver's side wing mirror has actually been stolen and it's, definite, it's definitely not been knocked off because it's actually been unscrewed and it's gone. So we need to get a mirror for it. The bed on this one, I would say, is probably the best bed we've had out of all of them, isn't it? It's the cleanest. Yeah, it's got a few little marks in it, but it's very, very tidy. Just had new tyres, just had a new MOT, and had a new clutch and flywheel. The back of it is all reasonably straight. It's quite nice. And in here, we got no broken wood or holes or cracks in it anywhere. So that's another plus as well. Again, down this side, you can see how straight it is. And then moving round to the passenger side, we got a dent in the bottom of the door there, but apart from that, the door's okay. And a dent there in that wing. So we have got quite a few parts to find. The front bumper, the step on it's cracked there and it's got a little tiny crack in it down there at the bottom. I mean, it is a work van. Could we get away with leaving that bumper on and just putting a new step? Possibly. We'll see how much one is. I shouldn't think they're very expensive. Let's jump inside. That tire looks new as well, Chris. So inside, this is probably one of the better ones we've had. Because it's had this rubber mat down, the floor's actually all all right in it. It's not been used for tarmac, so the door panels are not that bad either. We've got the usual on the driver's seat, but you know us, we get that sorted. I think on the last crafter we did, these seat covers are actually quite expensive. They're about 90 pounds. So we'll run this over to Lee, the trim man, and he'll put a new piece of foam in and sort that, that center of that seat. Passenger seat. Wants a bit of a clean up. Looks like it's had covers on it. Oh yes. Yeah, they're very nice under there. So just the base to take out and wash on this one. And again, no big scratches, dents or anything like that in the dashboard. So overall quite good. We did check this when we checked the other three vehicles. If you remember when we checked the transit on car vertical, it's always worth doing guys. And I know quite a lot of you did enjoy that little bit. So I'm just going to really include an example of what one of those would look like if there is a problem now. We thought we'd show you this one as an example because it's actually got a couple of things wrong. So it's a Volkswagen Golf and there, mileage discrepancy, not stolen, has been involved in an accident and it's written off. This is the quite interesting part. In 2016, on the eighth month there, it had done 54,999 miles. And then only a year later, on the 3rd, 2017, it had only done 21,000 miles. So that graph, you can go through and check all of the MOT history on it, which is fantastic. We scroll a little bit further, Dan, and this one has actually been assessed by an insurance assessor. And it does actually say there, estimated repair cost, three to 5,000. And it actually tells you where it was damaged. So front bumper, front right-hand headlight, bonnet, front grille, and front left-hand headlight. So that's had a collision in the front, that one. A little bit further down there, you've got the collision date, and it clearly says there, record found, 23rd of the 2nd, 2017. Guys, head on over to Car Vertical, use the discount code for a 10% off, and we want to say again a massive thank you to Car Vertical for linking up with us and giving us that 10% on this video. It does also give you nine things here to check when you are purchasing a vehicle. Let's get back to the truck. We're going to go straight in the workshop and make a list, aren't we, yeah. of all of the parts, and what we're going to try and do on this van, which is a little bit different to what we've done before. 
there seems to be loads of these doors available on eBay and these wings and various other bits. We're going to try and repair this in colour so that we haven't actually got to do any paint work to it. If we repaired that, I mean, just off the top of your head, Chris, how many hours you got to put into that door? It's got a dent down there. It's got that there. What we sat? Four hours, right? Then we got to get that door painted. Yeah. That's 120 quid. Yeah. I've just seen these doors immaculate on eBay for 110 pound. Yeah. So we're going to try and go down that road. Front wings, I mean, I've only flicked through a few. There was someone there for 50, 70 pounds. But again, if we can get it in colour, we're actually going to re re repair this one without any paint work. Let's get in there and make our list. Got me a little list here, guys. We've gone for two doors, two front wings the cap for the wing and the caps for the wheels and while i'm there i'm just going to see if he's got a bumper skin for it i've just got off the phone to him he said he don't think he's got a bumper but he seems to have everything else there so surprise surprise let's head to essex really nice guy down here little just a little yard there lithuanian guy he breaks a few vans and he's rebuilding a couple of those citron bread vans which is really nice but he done me two doors complete with door panels, all the switches, everything on them. £120 each and I've got a wing in now. Sorry, I meant to be saving this for the numbers. I've got a wing in now. I've got three centre caps for the wheels and that little arch for the front wing. <clears throat> he didn't have a passenger wing. And what he did just tell me here, and I genuinely didn't know, our truck is euro six so the front wings are completely different i said no i've fitted one of these front ends on he said my friend you didn't and he showed me wings that look very similar but they're just not the same so these are 13 to 16 only so but these two doors are immaculate and they got everything on them so we can just hang them straight on let's get back to the yard see how chris is getting it's on. actually the next morning now guys but check that out it's gonna make such a nice job of it this door, the driver's door, complete with long reach mirror. So we know that this door come off of a truck because I believe these short reach ones are for vans. He did say, look, you just have the door complete exactly as it is. I'm not going to take the mirror off. And I thought, well, that's something extra for us to sell. But once I did look under there, it has been glued up before. I'm sure it's got a value and it's got a worth to somebody, but we're not going to be using that one anyway. But both of those doors are in fantastic condition. This passenger side one has got a little pin dent in it there, but <laughs> it's 10 times better than the one that's on there. All of this is just muck. It needs a good wash. We've got a front wing there in colour. The free caps for the wheels, which is really nice. You can get away with selling these without the caps, but how nice is it going to be with those on there? And of course, we've got that little trim that goes in the arch there as well. So... I'm not going to get into the numbers, but basically, guys, I looked on eBay. The wing mirrors, because it's long reach, they are about £100 for a pattern one. Then you've got the doors. They was on there for £110. And then if I just pick this up, look at that door panel. How much more of a nicer job is that going to be? And we got the window switches. Right, I think there's been enough talking throughout the start of this video. Let's crack on, get that wing and that door this side fitted. You know what guys that was actually really really easy there was two little pins in the door little bolts one check strap two little grub screws two plugs the door lifted straight off i have noticed in the new door there's three wires possibly there might and no there is three wires so that door's probably got heated mirrors i will plug it in and check everything because we're not going to be able to plug the heated mirror in. But worst way, I'll have to take this door panel off, take the door loom out and fit it in that new door. I also thought there was a bit of damage down there on that inner wing, but there's actually not. I've just checked the other side and it's the same, but very, very straightforward and easy to do. Now all I've got to do is the reverse process. I reckon lifting that door on, that door there, is going to be quite hard on my own, but we'll see how we get on. Let's crack straight on with it.
Guys, if you didn't see that with your own eyes, you'd never believe it. I went and picked the door up. It was down here next to that one. And I picked it up and I thought, well, I'm committed. I might as well try and hang it on. And I walked over to the truck and it just slipped straight in place. That is brilliant. I'm not going to sit here and time lapse this little bit. It's going to be like these wires, getting all them plugged in, getting a check strap plugged in. So I'll do all that and then we'll see what it looks like after it's all on there and finished. You know what I'm like, that was meant to be a quick 10 minutes wiring that door up and putting the screws in and I really did start getting, getting carried away. That back panel there looked a completely different colour to the door on the truck and I thought, oh, that looks really sore. But it was just age related and a bit of sand. Obviously, these doors are off a lot later model. But I think from 07 all the way up, the chap said they're the same. So I'll quickly just run the mop down that edge and then I got a bucket of water and a sprayer and I started doing the chassis. Whoever buys this one is gonna have a real nice truck. Normally those chassis, they're quite bad. That's really nice. Then I cracked on, cleaned that wheel, back of the light panel and that wheel there was very, very hard to get cleaned. But how different does that look now? With those two caps on the wheels cleaned and no major digs in this side of it at all. There is some little bits here that really stick out, but I suppose I'll just go around and just touch them up, but what a difference. It just looks completely different now. The bonnet is gonna need mopping as well. You can see, you've got a slight variation there, but once this is mopped up, you can see it's flat and that wing's shiny. There is, I don't know if you can just about see that shadow on that wing there as well. That's gonna want mopping up. This wing's had stickers on it before. still need to find that wing but this door we decided to change it's got a dig here one there it's got little marks all around it and chris said you know what why are you there rob just grab it but look at that chassis just a bucket and sponge and a bit of g101 and it come up lovely but i had to stop and cut in i really did start getting carried away i started washing out this step there but guys Look at the door panel. I haven't got the key in my pocket. I'd put it in. Central locking all works. Electric windows are all working. Everything's working. And that door panel, look, compared to that, it's just night and day. Can't wait to get that door on there as well. Just um and ah in whether to wait until we get the wing. Beautiful. As you can see, I did decide to put that one on, and I'm glad I did because I can now show exactly what I mean by the other side when I said I had to mop this B pillar. Just looks completely different in color. Yeah, you can see how shiny this is and how dull this is. As soon as that's spun up, that'll be fine. And also, you can see it there as well. They just look miles apart. But <laughs> that front wheel, guys, the other one, the other side was a bit worse than that. Look how different that truck looks. I've got to put that wheel arch liner back in. I'm still undecided about this front bumper. I need to speak to Chris. The steps broke there, but that is two bolts. We can change that. But the actual damage on it is down here. Is that really, really going to matter for the truck, for selling it? It's a work truck. It's got some scuffs this side, but it is just that little tiny piece. Shall I just put a step in it and put a towing eye cover on it? I'm sure that'll be fine. I'm so impressed with how that nice that looks already. You would have seen there as well. My Claire just turned up, bless her, and bought me a sandwich and a coffee. Let's quickly mop this side up and see if we can get it to match. I don't think there's 
any denying that. A little tiny run over it there with a mop. Very, very low pressure and it's come back lovely. And guys, you will be pleased to know, I've now got, Chris bought me this actually the other week for my birthday, little battery mop and it is brilliant. Got quite a lot of different speeds on it and Sealy as well. I'll put a link for it in the description. It really is a good little bit of kit. So, sorry, I was just bending down there. All we need is a front wing and I'm in an R in about that front bumper. But again, we got those same little dots here, same little bits of damage. I don't know if it's when people are getting in and out and there, it must be something along those lines where they're whacking up against it. This little upright here, you can see it's got a kink in it. Chris said, we'll push that back and we'll knock that out so that that's straight. But overall, in quite nice condition. You would have seen me using a little water squirter there today, guys. I was only using that, really, a bit of laziness, really. I didn't want to get the hose out. Plus, I didn't want to drown the floor because I am lying underneath. But I think I am actually going to crack on and continue cleaning up the outside of this. The whole thing's going to need a mop. But I'm not going to do it until we fitted that wing. Chris may say, Rob, I'm going to knock that arch out. And we drop it around the paint shop and have that wheel arch done. Because this is that Euro 6 shape, I am just going to point out what the difference is. So, guys, this crease here, on the earlier ones, that comes down like that. It doesn't go into a point. And also, on the bottom of the arch, the way that flicks around there, the ones on eBay that are cheap are completely different and we're going to need one of these wings. That's why hence yesterday, the guy said to me, well, that wing for the other side is £100. I really wasn't expecting it because those little differences there, I didn't even notice them on camera. It wasn't until you speak to somebody that does these day in, day out, and he said, mate, honestly, they're different and he's absolutely 100% correct. I'm going to crack on just clean the outside of the truck up and I suppose... The inside of it really needs leaving to me and Chris. Oh, sorry, I haven't even opened this door yet. You would have seen on the time lapse, I tested the electric window. I've put the long reach mirror back on. <laughs> that has saved us a right headache trying to clean them up because, oh, yeah, this one's a little bit dusty and dirty, but that's going to wipe over and be lovely. Saved us so much work getting it with the door panels. And like I said yesterday, I'm not going to hold it back because I did put it in there. These doors were £120 each, which is fantastic. Let's get on. Look at the difference. Just uh, literally took two minutes, bit of G101, sponged it off, washed it down, done. Let's get on and clean the rest of it. I had to do a little bit of moving around there, guys, and move it over that way. It's too tight in the yard to turn it round without unlocking all the gates. I did wonder if anybody noticed just underneath the truck there, there's actually an oil tray. And I noticed it when we went to pick this up. I noticed a little patch of oil on the floor and I got straight down underneath it and you can see that is, somebody's obviously serviced it and not changed that copper washer on the sump bolt because there's a little drip coming out of that and that's why I've got the tray under it. I am going to clean up this chassis. Don't worry about the bucket and the sponges. These are all of our old stuff that I'm using to get that off. I'm going to concentrate on getting that side cleaned up. And then I think that's probably... That's getting close to getting close to as much as I can do on this side of it. Let's get on. just finished that chassis off and Chris actually turned up and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys we was just gonna do one video on this the same as the other one just get it done and it's done and Chris just turned up he went Rob there's still quite a lot to do on this one there's the inside straightening that up the wheel arch the wing whatever we're gonna do with it so guys it's already 
sort of how we like to have the videos around 20 minutes so i'm not going to be able to get any more done in the video but what a difference just that few hours on it today i mean this side looks quite sore because of that wing still but this side it's in such lovely condition i'm really happy with how it did come out and guys those three wires in this door they are correct this had that third wire is for this indicator and it wasn't plugged in on the old door so guys basically i was actually going to trade that sprinter on and we had those two transits out there I sold the first one i sold the second one to a trader immediately and sold the other sprinter to the same guy and he was half interested in that and chris said rob we've not done a sprinter before so let's just do it and i'm really really happy with how that one in particular is turning out it does drive nice it's quite nice inside it's had a rubber mat down so it just needs a good clean inside but like chris just said it is a whole nother video getting that clean and doing the other bits and bobs on it so i do hope that you did enjoy this video it's a nice long one for you and as usual if you do enjoy it please do give us a thumbs up we really do appreciate it don't forget please like subscribe and share check out the merchandise the link is in the description and we'll see you later in the next one